Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how I've wired up my TCC system. Um, basically, um, we've got the main TCC bus wires, which are the thick ones here. You can see, um, and these are 16 gauge silicon sheath cables. Um, I got that from Amazon. Um, came on a, a reel of 10 meters, 10 meters of red and black, and that was enough to wire up down this side behind the um, air conditioner, across to the power supply, underneath the double O gauge layout, over to there in the corner, and then that feeds up to the O gauge layer on top, all the way across down to the end there behind the computer, like so. So that was enough to do all of that. I had a little bit left over, but nothing really usable. And then all of my dropper wires feed into that. So I'll bring you across to this side. Um, what I've done is I've soldered the fish plates. I know some people aren't keen on doing that. They prefer to solder the track itself, but um, it's just the way that I chose to do it. So as you can see here, um, right there, fish plate soldered up and dropper wires go through the board. And then underneath, they link up to um, these solder tags here. Again, I got these from DCC Concepts. Um, so on top is the main bus wires, and then behind, you can see it on this one. If I go to the next one, I've got some of the dropper wires connected in, so they solder in, and there's a connection between the front and back. Um, one thing to watch out with um, these um, bus wires that I got is um, it's multi-stranded, uh, which gives it the flexibility, but there's something like 400 strands there, so they're very fine. Um, and if your wire strippers don't do it in one one go, the next time you try and strip it back, it can ruffle these up and it makes the soldering a little bit untidy afterwards. Um, the power for my layout is provided by a Cobalt Alpha power box. Um, this is the regulated power supply. Uh, that provides power for the booster unit. Um, that's a 5 amp booster, and that's the Cobalt Alpha box. Um, and that uh, provides power for the DCC control system. As you can see here, I've got the NCE power cab. Um, that works quite nicely. Um, when you first set this up, one thing to remember it wasn't quite obvious for me is um, even though that these are powered on until you press the power button there um, you don't actually have power to the track so when you install it and you, if your locos aren't moving just make sure you've um, turned that one on um, and I think that's pretty much it's all fairly straightforward um, the double O gauge layout it's fairly simple it's just got the dropper wires there and they feed onto the power connectors pico power connectors i've only got one um one set on each track um but the pico track seems to be fairly reliable um each of the um circuits um, not had any problems and that's just relying on the set track um fish plates um, they all seem to work quite nicely and as you can see over that side um, because the top board is fairly thin um, basically what I've had to do is put all of the um, droppers and the bus wires up on top um, but they'll be hidden uh, by scenery uh, once it's all finished um, so fairly straightforward so yeah Hopefully that's of some help to you and I'll see you in the next video.